Well, hello there, my beloved little dip It's me, your favorite friend to the end, Chucky. No one knows murder the way I do, and I always give extra points for creative execution. So, without further ado, let's dig in, shall we? Now, I know some of you may be surprised by the first victim of this season, because I don't endorse killing tiny children. Kill them all! <laughs> Any questions? Is there an age limit? No babies. Could you define baby? Well, let's just say nobody under the age of five or six. Fair enough? And look at this adorable guy. My bad, okay? What was I supposed to do? I had a plan. It was a suicide mission to take out those meddling middle schoolers. That little boy wonder just got in my way. Let's see where it all went so wrong. The kid grabs the bomb, trying to be a superhero and save the day. But everyone else thinks they're safe. But not so fast. Here I come, sneaking up out of nowhere with my lightning fast speed. The kid sees that smoking hot dog. He pauses. He panics. But me, no hesitation. I guess my big plan really blew up in his face. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I gotta say, it's sort of weird when two people die and I didn't stab either one of them. But I always appreciate the artistry and intent behind a successful kill. Especially when it's accompanied by a killer tagline. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna pray? This is some top-notch scare action. I yell boo. She falls down. And the best part is how I just growl at her and she dies. What a f***ing legend. I know, I know. It's rude to surprise an elderly nun like that. Forgive me. For I have sinned. How many of you saw that coming? None. <laughs> Moving on, I gotta give mad props to my girl Tiffany for this one. A nail file as a murder weapon? Classic, Tiff. Excellent one slash technique, just like I thought. Let's take another look at this in slow-mo. Tiff comes up from behind. She goes straight for the jugular. Now that's a proper execution. So quick, so clean. File that under murder, nailed it. So two more kills and we're just getting started. That's a total of three for those playing along at home. We'll take a more in-depth look at the genius of my mind. I went back to the basics and thought more inside the box with a good old Fashion strangler. Oh, and there's this doll, Chucky. He's alive? I don't know, how can a doll be alive? The whole idea kind of violates everything I believe in, right? Mm, yes, right. He had a chance to listen to her, but he choked. <laughs> I've killed dads before, but this is my first father. <laughs> I gotta confess, I never pass up an opportunity to kill a douchebag like this guy. I know this look. This is someone who is about to sh** their pants. Sure, he's got a punchable face, but I wanted Trevor to know that I have his back. Hey kid, you used to have a heart. What happened? <laughs> what a heart drop. <laughs> oh, I love my job. Why don't you come a little closer and sit by the fire? Unless you don't want to get roasted. <laughs> one poisoning, one shooting, and one immensely satisfying stabbing. Sounds like a killer party. So, who did it to the butler? 
Glenda in the hallway with the rat poison. <laughs> the rotten apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Way to go, kid. I always knew you had it in you. The old arsenic in the champagne trick. That's my kind of bottle episode. Let's keep this moving. Next victim, please. Ha. A love triangle that could have been glory bound. Instead, it never had a shot. <laughs> so long, Joey. She really beat the pants off you. I wanted to murder Joey Pants for years. And finally, when my favorite wrestler asks me to kill her. I just want to be brutally murdered by Chucky. <laughs> How could I possibly say no? That's my version of a body slam. Let's check the replay. It just killed me to let her live. <laughs> Good night and sweet dreams. All right, current kill count is eight dead bodies. We saw a battle for the ages. Good versus evil, strength versus skill, Muscles versus not so much muscles. Good Chucky versus Hulk Chucky. Watch as this so-called good Chucky nails a sweet catchphrase followed by a kick-ass ninja-like move killing the beefcake version of me. I'm the Chucky I choose to be. <laughs> Amen, a thousand points for the artistry. I can only hope he died for my sins. <laughs> Let's take a look in slow-mo as he times the launching of the daggers perfectly to crucify the whole Chucky to the wall. In my opinion, that is a top five pinioning. Raw talent, but still an amateur. Hey kid, hot tip. If you're gonna vomit, try to electrocute somebody with your barf just like I did. That is enough Chucky on Chucky violence. All of us Chuckies have to work together if we want to reach our full murdering potential. Unlike Tiffany, who's a hot mess, a smoking hot mess, but a hot mess nonetheless. Tiff's been drinking too much and now she's getting a little too sloppy. Help me. Jennifer? Ah. That feeling when you discover your sister's soul has been trapped inside a doll. Oh my God. Meg, look out! How precious is this? Sibling Oscar nominees at each other's throats? Sucks. There goes my fantasy of hot Oscar nominated sister on sister action. Um. Meg Tilly needs to take a big chill and not be such a psycho too. So, here we are. A Chucky stabbed a Chucky, and Tiffany, pretending to be Jennifer Tilly, slayed the actual Meg Tilly. Don't think about it too hard. You're not smart enough to really understand it. I don't know if you schmucks can keep up with all the Clone Wars, so we'll take it nice and slow. There's good Chucky, blech, whatever. There's resurrected Hulk Chucky, absolute unit. And then there's Colonel Chucky. He's follicularly challenged, got it? On with the kills. There's Hulk Chucky, risen from the dead after he was basically crucified. It's a nice standoff that looks like an epic fight is brewing, but you know what they say. Don't bring a knife to a poison fight. The old arsenic in the communion wafer. Classic, Colonel. R.I.P. Rest in poison, Hulk Chucky. <laughs> okay, next victim, come on down. Remember the Alamo. The only thing noteworthy in this kill is the Colonel's award-winning Marlon Brando impersonation. Bravo, Colonel. We come to one of my most preferred methods of murder. You'll recall what I did to Junior's mom last year. <laughs> D 
Do you think good Chucky could possibly resist such an easy setup? Yeah! What a bummer about Nadine. I was starting to fall for her. <laughs> okay, let's check the running kill count. We're up to 14 deaths so far, if we include the fly, which I sure do. Now let's talk about more stuff that includes me. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had a demonic time. Can Chucky Prime come out to play? I'm sad to say we had to say goodbye to another Hollywood icon, Jennifer Tilly's original soul. Oh man, why did the possessed doll cross the road? To get away from the person who kidnapped her body. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, you don't get it. Let's see that kill again. If you freeze right here, you can see that classic doll in the headlights look, and then, bam, poor Jennifer. Gotta look both ways before you cross. <laughs> and now, let's cross over to Father Bryce, because our last few moments with him are gonna be a blast. It's raining men, hallelujah. <laughs> Let's keep this all in the family and move from father to sister. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure for a stab wound, you're supposed to leave the knife in and seek medical attention. Never mind, she's dead. <laughs> and that brings us to the death of me. I knew relying on this old bag would be a mistake. My jaw dropped when I realized what a good shot Andy was. Hi. I'm Chucky. Wanna pay my dental bills? Okay, okay, enough. We don't need to see any more of this. Making a guy recap his own death? Jeez. What kind of cruel, sick people are you? I know you've all been naughty little boys and girls, so... I've stuffed your stockings with the best gift ever. Murder. Let's add some Christmas spirit. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. <laughs> a classic switcheroo. Andy thinks he's killing me, but surprise! I already swapped bodies with the doctor. A real mixture up. <laughs> R.I.P. Doc. What a twist. And those assholes are such idiots, they had no f***ing clue. And speaking of body swapping, it is the hottest trend this season. Never get between a ferocious mama bear and her twin children who desperately want to put their two souls back into one gender fluid doll. Now who's got some chestnuts for that open fire? Merry Christmas, Mom. There's no place like home for the holidays. And all my favorite sugar plums are together just right for the murdering. Time to spread some Christmas cheer, Chucky style. Merry Christmas, Michelle. Rest in peace. <laughs> what a not-so-silent night. This really is the most wonderful time of the year. And of course, we can't finish this season without one last Christmas surprise. Well, bravo, Lexi. What an incredibly difficult degree of execution. Well, friends, we've made it all the way to the end. Every single kill. Mwah. Perfection. But you can't keep a good guy down, and the true Christmas miracle is that you know I'll be back. <laughs> Oh,
Subscribe, damn it. I'll be back. I always come back and so should you, you moron. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,